Um, this is a very interesting struggle. Um, it's not just a conflict between genetic uh, qualities like hair color. It's a conflict between hairstyles. We see the blonde here has a better hairstyle with a top knot. Um, I would definitely prefer this guy to win and to, to spread his hairstyle genes down through uh, future generations. But we also notice that he has the use of tools. That, that's crucial. He is attacking, this man attacking with his teeth. He's leaving a few blood stains on the other man. But that's clearly a, a, a very primitive way to fight. He's, um, it's been successful, as we see with saber-toothed tigers and other animals. He's actually put their teeth around his neck, and teeth are really the, the way that he gets on in the world. But this man is the next stage, the next level. He has a tool, which he's using to... A few seconds later, we'll see, see the results of this tool on this man's body. They both have dominance over bears. We can see that because they both have bear skins around their loins. And they both have that essential, because the Bible actually uh, measures uh, evolution by um, prudishness. The Bible says that uh, Adam and Eve were naked and then realized that they were naked and then clothed themselves. So they have evolved to that biblical level of prudishness. Meanwhile, uh, who was it who said, the future of man is woman? Here she is. <laughs> Darwin was no saint. In fact, he was a murderer. His first victim was an old lady who ran a pawn shop. Darwin wondered, in, an, uh, in the spirit of speculative scientific inqu inquiry, he wondered what it would feel like to murder an old lady. This is her skull. <laughs> He didn't actually record what it felt like to murder her, but he continued his career. And some of these murders were done in a spirit of inquiry. As I say, he actually developed some of his theories based on this, uh, the measurement of, the, of these skulls. And um, as you can see, he used the weapons behind you in that case there. There are many uh, sharpened flint heads. He wanted to, uh, to go through some of the earlier stages of mankind's evolution and uh, use primitive weapons, antique weapons, and he became very adept at killing all sorts of animals. Now, I personally have some reservations about murder. I think it's wrong. But at the same time, if I put that in the balance against the great discoveries that Darwin made, I think we have to give him his due and say that he was entitled to murder, as Michael Jackson was entitled to enjoy children. I admit that's a disturbing thought, but do just hold it in your minds for a while. I think it's uh, an attractive vision of how we could essentially turn a very unethical philosophy, which is Darwinism, of course it's the, the struggle, this rather Nietzschean struggle, because of course really of, of the great thinkers of the 19th century, it's Nietzsche that Darwin has most in common with, including the fact that both Nietzsche and Darwin died of syphilitic diseases. Uh, Darwin's was a type of syphilis which had not been encountered before anywhere else and has not been encountered since. Um, a type of syphilis which you can only catch by sexual congress with green ants. Perhaps there are green ants seething in this picture, but I hope there are no beetles. Thank you very much for following the tour today.